Hey guys, I'm Faris Gaskin. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you about redirections in your Laravel project. We've learned about route in our previous videos. So in this video, redirection practically means renaming your route with another specific name. And it can be assigned using S as a key. So we'll start our project with our previous project, my project ladder blocks. So it's already opened in my subline. And we'll go to test.php inside the views folder. So we have hello world over here. And I'm going to rename this as example of redirecting to named routes. Okay, so save that. And let's head on to web.php. So down to over here, we have a route called test. And we're going to tweak this route to add the S key. So we're going to rename the route as testing instead of test. So the good thing about this function is that you can have extra security where hackers may not know the exact name of your file. So they will think that testing is legit, but actually it is test. So we have test over here and it will redirect our user to test2.php and we'll add another route. So I'm going to edit over here, route get and redirect function and we're going to do something over here so don't forget my semicolon okay so return redirect route testing Okay, so let's see it in action. CD documents, CD uh, my workspace, I think. Yeah, okay, so our blogs and PHP artisan serve. Oops. Um, line 68, I'm guessing I missed something over here, yeah, okay, I missed the, the square bracket for the array, okay, so let's go to our local host. Thousand, and the link we are looking for is redirecting. Oops. Oh, sorry. Redirect without the ing. Okay, so there you have it. It's the contents from test two. Not only named route, but we can also redirect to control the actions. We need to simply pass the controller and name of the action to the action method as shown in the following example. So let's go to our command prompt. Uh, let's terminate the batch for now. So we're going to create a new controller. PHP artisan uh, make controller and we'll call it redirect controller. 
Okay, so file created, and let's go to our controller folder. Um, can't remember where it is. Uh, I think it's resources or something. Uh, console exceptions HTTP. Ah, okay, so there it is inside the HTTP folder, and we have our redirect controller over here. Okay, so I'm going to add a few lines of code. And first up, we'll use app HTTP request. Okay. And use app HTTP controllers controller okay so class redirect control extends controller and we're gonna add a new function so public function index and we're going to display something echo redirecting to controllers uh, controller action ok I'm not going to add the apostrophe otherwise it's going to break my string so I'm just too lazy to retype the whole thing ok save this cancel purchase and let's go to webphp and we're gonna add new routes so route get rr redirect controller at index so we're going to call the function straight away and a new route so get slash redirect controller function ok I'm gonna add something and return redirect action redirect controller index Okay, so that will fire up the index function inside our new file. Save that. Let's run the server again. Okay, and we're going to call redirect controller. Okay, so that you have redirecting to controller action. Okay, so that's it for now. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and see you guys later in my next tutorials. Thanks for watching.